Welcome back to Doug Space Workshop, guys. We do have the laser up and functioning. We are using the software that came with it called BenBox. This laser, for what it is, is pretty amazing. For an inexpensive laser, I got mine on Amazon because it was cheaper for the shipping. Really does a pretty impressive job at A, burning holes, and B, at carving. It runs on wheels instead of the V, the v wheels. It runs on a rounded wheel. I'm not crazy about rounded wheels. I'd rather have V-Track and Maker Rails, but I could upgrade to that later. The NEMA 17 stepping motors that came with it are way overpowered for what it has to do. All it's really doing is moving a carriage, moving the Z-axis back and forth, and moving the carriage back and forth the laser is mounted to. The laser doesn't go up and down, so obviously it's a, it's a fixed laser point. So it has plenty of power to move it around. It has plenty of speed to move it around. I guess I'm used to the more beefy motors that came with my Shapoku than I am these, these smaller motors that came with the laser. But for the motors, they seem to be well powered for what I needed to do. So I'm happy with that. The software. Apparently, I needed a driver called JTEC, and maybe if my computer wasn't brand new, four months old, I got it at Christmas, um, I may have had some of that stuff installed, and, and it's, it says that it's drivers used for printers. I don't even own a printer. I take it to someone else's house to print things when I need to. It says that JTEC driver should have come with other printers and other devices that you may have installed. The only thing I use my laptop for is CNC software and a little bit of web posting. So I'm not using it for a lot of stuff and I don't have a lot of things downloaded. That could be why I didn't have this driver installed or have this extension installed that is supposedly typical for printers and other devices. I don't use a lot of other things. I don't do 3D printing. I don't do a lot of other stuff right now. So my computer did not have that driver. Once I installed the driver, Benbox started to work. It is a clumsy program. It is an inconvenient program. It is so limited that I don't know that I'll be able to do much with it. I'm probably gonna get coasters made. The show is 24 hours away. This is one day from the last time we spoke about this laser. That I'm recording this video. I don't know how long it'll take for me to actually put it out for you. If I get some coasters made, I'll throw pictures up at the end of this video. I'm pretty sure I'll have something made. I don't know how much I'm going to like it or love it, but I need some more stuff to take to this show, and this is going to be a great product for me to take if I can get it to work right. So we'll see. Hopefully you guys will have seen some pictures on Instagram by now. So far, I love the laser. The physical tool is great. The software that came with it is subpar by far. It does do the job it's advertised to do. Basic, basic laser engraving. No editing, no options are so limited. Um, I, I'm really spoiled by the software that I have for my CNC machine. The, if you don't have or haven't played with VCarve from Vertec, you've got to go try it out. Their software is phenomenal. It's basically using graphic art software that then converts it to a CNC file and creates the G-code. My CNC software by far makes everything else that I'll ever use probably look inferior and that's why it costs so much. That CNC software, nothing can really hold a candle, candle to that software and I love it. I am looking at other software programs for my laser. Um, some of those software programs are thousands of dollars. I am not spending thousands of dollars on a laser software as a beginner at this point in my journey on a laser that cost me under 500. So I will probably be banging my head against the wall working on software issues for quite a while trying to figure out what the heck I should use. I'll throw some images up if I get something done tonight guys or before the show and hopefully I'll have this video up within a day or two or of the other video. Thanks, guys, for watching. Remember to like, subscribe. Thanks for joining me here on Doug's Basement Workshop. Stay tuned. If I get some stuff done, pictures will be coming up. I'll do it a quick slideshow, really short pictures. Thanks. Bye, guys.